But then I don't know how to play the flute. Okay, I don't know how to play this flute. But I know how to play another flute. Yeah, uh, if you don't know how to play this flute, uh, just keep it away and try. Try this flute. It's actually a sweet one. Uh, you also play it with your mouth, with your lips actually. Mm. It's a better flute. We call it Makorofia. Makorofia. Mm. Mm. If you don't know this, try this. <laughs> Yes, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome to Life Pro. My name is Manu. I'm so, so happy. I'm so happy that you're watching this video today right here on Life Pro. Yes, and so thank you so much for watching this video today right here on Life Pro. Now, today is actually a story time. Just as you've read down below, today I'm actually going to be giving and to be sharing my story. And this story actually has something to do with this place. As you can remember in the previous video, I think I link, I link it somewhere up here or also down below. Uh about me making this studio yeah my first studio how i turned this story into a studio and uh, yeah this story is somehow related to that and so this is a story of how i actually quit my job <laughs> i quit a job that i was doing so that i can create content i just love creating content yeah actually what i normally say i normally say that god created me now i create content god was my sole creator and he made me a content creator yeah that's what i believe and that's what I, I i normally say and because of today's story is actually going to be a nice one and so ensure you have your cup of tea or your cup of coffee mpesa mpesa oh mpesa Woo! hey yes guys ensure you have your cup of tea thank you mpesa ensure you have your cup of tea because this is going to be a nice one and so back actually this year this year uh, when corona began i a friend of mine just called me and he told me that he has a job that he has started whereby they have a school their family they have a school a private school for that matter private mpesa ah they have a private primary school and uh wow they have a private primary school and uh now during the corona people have not going have, have not been going to school and so they decided to start online classes and so he began the online classes he's an it expert and so he knew manu is actually good in media and everything manu does media and so he called me and told me hey by the way manu hi uh are you available during this time and i said yeah i'm actually just at home creating videos i was just at home making life life pro videos and so he told me ah do you mind actually coming and uh, i think there's a job opportunity for you and i was like oh wow yeah i'll come that is actually in may may this year and so i went and my job was actually i, I was the technician of that place and so as students are actually studying online i'm the one who used to connect the cameras to ensure that the zoom links are working the website works like everything everything technical i was in charge of that and so that's what i i started doing in may june and so as we continued as we began we were around, we were around 50 students yeah at most actually between 30 to 50 students but now as we continued uh, the students kept kept increasing and so we reached a point where actually 200 almost 200 students who are doing the online classes and so now my work shifted from being the technician to being the accountant because now they have to pay the school fee and now the school fee that they are paying they are paying via uh, mobile service that is via mpesa and as they pay via mpesa i was the one tasked with uh, checking the list of the people who have actually paid and going to the system filling in the system that so and so has actually paid and so and so has not paid and so that was my work accounts and uh yes account i've never done accounts in my life actually i'm afraid of mathematics <laughs> i've never done accounts in my life and now here i am as an accountant and i did that that's what i used to do so i was an accountant i was still helping with the technical work and i became also the secretary because now we used we were also supposed to print to print to print the assignments for the students and so that was still my work i was supposed to okay not type actually sometimes to print to type them to print them to photocopy them for all the students yes and so that that is what my work turned out to be that is may june july this year and so as i was doing this work you know now 
normally okay i know myself i'm somehow an extrovert actually actually i'm an extrovert introvert and so i I'm, i'm so jumpy jumpy even as you watch this video you'll just realize manu is not just there seated drinking tea and talking like this like it's hard for me i actually talk more using my hands even than my mouth <laughs> yes and so working at this place this is an enclosed place it's an office and uh, according to my mind i'm so used to going outside making videos and everything and like i'm an outside person i'm <laughs> i love going out I, i i don't love being contained in a place and so that that is what was actually happening at this workplace and uh, yeah they were paying me i'll not complain yeah when i do this you know what i mean yeah at least it was sustaining me and uh, yes but now i was not happy completely not happy with this work i was completely not happy with this work because my work was come in in the morning come in pull in my chair put on my computer and just look at the computer and begin working i have mobile phones actually around 3 to 4 mobile phones surrounding me plus my phones and so all these phones uh, calls were always coming in oh yeah tell us about our program explain to us this oh my website is not working oh manu i've paid oh hi who who Hey secretaries I respect your work. And so that was actually a hard work a, a hard task for me uh, like my mind to change to that. And so as I was still doing this I was still creating content on YouTube and I have two YouTube channels this life probe and another channel that I link below called manuscripts. And so on manuscript what I do I create Christian content. And so I was cre- on manuscripts I was posting on Monday, Wednesday, Friday on manuscripts and here on life probe I used to post on Tuesday and Thursday. And so from Monday to Friday I was actually posting videos. But now I got this job of which this job I got I go to work from Monday to Saturday and from Monday to Saturday is actually from 8 to 6:30 in the evening. Yeah. 8 to 6:30 in the evening I'm just on my computer looking at at a, at, at accounts and everything and picking calls. So every time I'll go home my head was just ah oh I was just tired my head was just everywhere. <laughs> yes. And so I had to stop actually creating content because there is no way I'm going to create videos every day yet I'm still supposed to be at work every single second manu is supposed to be there and so that became a, a tall load on me even though i'm short and uh, um i decided to stop creating content yeah so july and so it came to august i decided uh i think um i'm not supposed to be here I just started feeling that in my in myself actually from July I began feeling uh, this is not the place for me and so I approached my dad I approached my mom and uh, also my sisters I'll actually I'll talk to them every day I remember I'll go to my sister and tell her I, my younger sister that is uh, one day I'll come quit this job I go to my mom my dad but the dad one day I'll quit this job and uh, definitely they never agreed to me quitting the job because in some way that was what was actually sustaining us at home uh, in some way and so i still had to work uh, but now <laughs> uh, as much as i was working so that we can get money here at, here at home i was not happy like completely as i said i'm a sanguine i'm an extrovert i started i started being hey, hey. okay what do we call this like it started being silent the extrovertedness started coming down i was not myself again because uh ah like even this is making even my mood to change uh because i'm doing something that is not in me i'm trying to become there looking at the computer just doing accounts yet that is not in me actually i just love create like i I really love creating content with all my heart with, with everything. I just love creating content. That's what I I think about every night, every second, ev- like actually of late, of late I've not been sleeping early. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this. But anyway, of late I've not been sleeping early because I'm just thinking about content. Like I even lack sleep. This days actually this past two weeks I lack sleep because 
I'm thinking about content. I'm just thinking. I'm just on YouTube watching the kind of content that I want to create. I'm just there watching. And so each and every second, I'm always thinking about content. And uh, I had to stay. I had to stop creating that content so that I can come work there. Yeah. And uh, yes, as I said, my mood changed. I became. I became a silent guy. I became now more of an introvert. The way I used to call people, even if you called me, you'll just feel, I and there's something wrong with Manu. Manu is not as hyper as he's used to be. And uh, yeah, actually mentally, I started feeling bad. I became like, at all times, I'm just stressed. I used to cycle to, <laughs> I used to cycle to work. And while I'm cycling to work, it will take me like 30 minutes from home to that place, to my workplace, cycling. And uh, while I cycle, I remember, I would always talk to God on that way to work. I was always talking to God and telling God, uh, may thank God this is not what I want to do. God, please, please, please God come through. I, I'm, I'm not happy, I'm not happy work, working here. I just want to create content. And uh, yeah, that's what I used to tell God every time. Every, like, I used to talk to myself. Okay, I know I talk to myself a lot, but now this time I'll talk to myself even more about this work. Because you imagine you're waking up each and every day to a work that you actually don't love. And you have to stop what you love because of this. And so one day I decided, it was on August, the beginning of August, I decided uh, I've talked to mom, to dad, to my sisters, and they said, no, you're not supposed to quit this job because this is what is actually sustaining us. And for me, I was thinking, ah, now if I quit this job, I'll start asking my mom for transport. I'll start asking my dad for credit and everything. But I decided to approach my boss, uh, the one who employed me. And I told him, uh, uh, so, so and so, uh, I think this will be my last month at work here. Because I, I quit. I'll not, I'll, I, <laughs> yeah, this will be my last month at work here. And he asked me why. I said, because I, I want to be me. I just want to, I want to be Manu. As you know, okay, he knows me. And so I told him, as you know, I love creating content. And so now, even right now, actually each and every time, even as I pulled in my chair to my computer, the first thing I'll actually open was YouTube. <laughs> I'll always go to YouTube first, check out my my life probe. I'll always check out life probe first if there are any more, if there are new comments, uh, my previous videos. Uh, actually, one day, and my dream is actually one of my dream, one of my goals is to host the Oscars. Yeah, being the host of the Oscars, and so I was, I would always go and open an, uh, a video about Oscars, the Oscars monologue, and I'll watch the monologues a lot, and I still watch actually till date. Uh, so I would watch the monologues a lot, and then when I see the boss coming, that's when I'll minimize the YouTube page first, so that uh, minimize the YouTube page and open the working space, and uh, I just realized I don't want to cheat myself. And to keep lying that I'm actually working yet I'm not. And uh, yeah, that's what actually pushed me. And so I told him uh, this, this will be my last month. He told me why I told him because I want to create content. I expected him to be to be like, no, you cannot quit. No, do this. Uh, like I expected him to be against that. But he actually told me himself, he once quit a job that he never liked. The job was paying him extremely, extremely a lot of money <laughs> yeah uh, and actually he was working in the states at in us and he had he had to come back like he had to quit that job so that he can do something that he loves and so he told me if i told manu that's what you feel like i agree with you just go be you go do you go go do the the job that you want to do and so like hearing that from him actually touched me a lot it made me feel like, wait, so I'm not alone. I'm not the only person who is here doing things that they don't love. I'm not the one, I'm not the first person to actually quit a job that I don't love. And I decided to quit and I quit. And I and so that was the beginning of August. And so he's, 
he started looking now for a replacement for me. Now at this time I've not talked to my dad, I've not talked to my mom, I've not told anyone that I've actually quit my job. And so, but now I started feeling actually even happy. Now even doing the job, I was feeling happy because I knew this is actually my last month here. And so I did the job. By the time when we were almost one week to the end of that month, to the end of August, one, one week before August ends, I just called my dad and mom. Uh, actually, before they went to sleep, I told them, oh, dad, mom, uh, and also my siblings, uh, before you sleep, I have something I'd like to tell you. And uh, okay, and so they sat down and listened. And so I said, uh, I actually quit my job. I quit my job the beginning of this month. Uh, so uh, this is actually my last week. This coming week is the last week I'll be working there because I, I, I just want to create content. I know they were surprised, but they were not so much surprised because I, w I used to tell them every day and every time. And so they were actually, I think they were actually suspicious du during those days. They, 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 they used to live with that fear <laughs> of knowing this boy, this guy might quit his job uh, one day, one time. And so I shared it with them and uh, we had a long conversation, actually almost two, between two to three hours. And uh, actually, my dad was there telling me, no, man, no, actually, Ima he calls me Emmanuel. Emmanuel, no, 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 you can, you cannot quit this job. Do this, go work at that, at that job until the end of this year. Uh, uh, like, until I don't know what, and uh, until I don't know what age, go work. Eh? Your time will come. But now, I know my time will come. But this thing was actually pushing me so much. Like... I don't know if you've ever been at a point whereby you want to do something like something is actually calling from inside of you inside your heart you feel you even feel the pain of not doing it yeah like it's just it's, it's just shouting so much inside and so um, everything my dad will tell me I just told him uh, dad I, uh, <laughs> I've already I've already made up my mind I've already I've already quit and uh, yeah and so I remember, I remember my mom, my mom was just silent. <laughs> she, she was there, she was not talking. And uh, uh, my dad told my mom, Hi, Mama Emmanuel, still speak to your son. Eh? Speak to your son. And my mom said, and I still remember that till date. He said, he's already of age. Actually, I'm, I'm 22 years. He said, he's already of age, he's 22 years old. He can make decisions for himself. Uh, he's not a kid anymore. We can't baby him anymore. You have already told him what you what you want him to do, and because he's already an adult, let him make decisions for himself. And so, in my heart, I was like, yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, that's what my mom said. And my dad, he just became silent. But that challenged me a lot because it made me now think, hey, wait. So now every decision I make in my life, like this is actually my life now. Eh? And so uh, even after that, my dad still used to talk to me. Uh, like he'll, he'll, he'll still come to me and tell me, Emmanuel, he, like, see, see you'll have done that job. But I was always like, dad, dad, this is something that is in my heart. I've already made this decision. And please, like, please believe in me this one time. Please believe in me. Yeah. And so it reached a point actually one week later. Actually, let me say this. Uh, before before that one week later, my last day at job, my last my last day at work. Uh, I, I remember my last day at work. I went, I, the teachers that used to teach in that school, I went, told them, ah, goodbye, this is my last day, goodbye. Uh, have a nice time, I'll be visiting everything, blah, blah, blah. And uh, after that, I left. I used to host a TV show called Step Up Gospel Show. Live on Facebook, I'll link it below as well. Set Apart Foundation, just search for Set Apart Foundation, you'll see the shows that we used to host. And so I used to host a TV show there, and the same, my last day at work was on a Friday. And so that Friday I went to the show because I was host, I was host, I was hosting the TV show on Fridays together with Masi and Kira Devi and everyone. And so I remember I went there and uh, what, like, one of my dreams actually came to pass that same day. My last day at work is the same day that one of my dream came to pass. The dream to actually interview one of the gospel artists that I admire. Uh, 
her name is Pris Makena and so I interviewed Pris Makena uh, who is the person that I, I even had it written down somewhere I like to interview Pris Makena and so I interviewed Pris Makena on my last day at work Naomba God mm. to interview is Pris Makena wow. so for me this is a dream come true and I thank God so much and so thank God thank you we thank God so much that's the same day I interviewed Pris Makena and that was a dream come true like I just felt so 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 happy I remember quitting this job I was afraid I don't know where I'm going to I'm saying I'm going to create content on YouTube but I'm not sure about how it will go I don't have any money and uh, yeah so I interviewed Pris Makena that day and one week later my dad who is a missionary he was a, a, in the mission field he just sent me a text message and said uh, Manu you know when I was growing up I always wanted to become a TV host. I always wanted to become a journalist, a TV and a radio host. But right now I'm not that. I'm a pastor, I'm a missionary and like I'm so happy that God is doing that through you. And that touched me a lot because this is the same my dad who was some weeks ago telling me Manu don't try quit that job. Keep doing that job like he was pushing me but now I think after some time just God convicted him and he agreed to me doing what I'm doing and he sent me that text message and I, like I felt so much encouraged. Yes, and so since I actually quit my job, another thing that happened, I actually hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. That's another dream that came true. Like a lot, a lot of things came true uh, during this time, like even getting people sponsoring a video on live from So far we have had two sponsors. Two, two people coming in to uh, approaching me and, uh, and and Fred and telling us that they like actually to sponsor a video us to do a sponsored video and so we have done two sponsored videos so far and like that's a dream come true getting sponsors on our video on our channel and so if you are a sponsor outside there come in come in actually the reason why we do life probe is we love art and um, I do spoken word Fred does rap we just love art and that's why we do uh, life pro because we we love the way of art and actually the reason why I quit that job as well is because uh, I remember even when I was in campus in campus I did mass communication I have my diploma in mass communication and I've done short courses on film production and mass communication and I remember uh, even in school uh, <laughs> oh I forgot what I wanted to say anyway the reason I so I, I did mass communication in school and I remember when I was doing public speaking we had a unit called public speaking and we were supposed to present in front of other students and in front in front of the lecturers and examiners a speech. I remember the speech I wrote was actually called the way of art and in this speech I was talking about how many how the world has actually made us think that we can only become successful by becoming doctors, engineers, aeronautical engineers, pilots and everything, everything like all those things but now what about art art is also an area that people can venture in and actually become so great in this world make a great impact in this world through art and so i decided my speech was actually about art to tell people ah yeah hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up i know we are doctors i know we are engineers i know we want to become all these things but do you know that you can also try out something uh, in this way of art you can become uh, a content creator you can become an audio producer you can become a YouTube, like you can become something to do with art you can become a professional dancer a, like a rapper you can become a, a, an artist drawing like art like, hey love i have for art man i don't know i don't know i don't know yes and so that's what that's what I actually did the speech about and that's how I actually quit my job and since I quit my job let me tell you uh, I quit my job in August September October November right now we are in December those four months uh, I've never lacked like actually since I quit my job people have been calling me to actually do videos for them there is a video I'm still editing right now a documentary someone just called me i once did a documentary for her like two years ago she called me again and she told me manu are you available come do this documentary for me we'll be doing blah 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 and so i'm actually doing a documentary for someone right now which i'll be posting on life probe very soon and so like if i was still if i still held myself to that uh, i was actually closing other doors 
Yeah, so since I left that, God has always been faithful. He has provided the money, the everything. Like, ah, God is great. God is great. Eh? Hey, <laughs> God is great. Yeah, and so it's been so nice. And thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I know it's long. Uh, if you've actually reached to this point, I think it's almost 25 minutes. If, you re if you've reached to this point, if you're actually outside there and uh, you feel that thing, actually, for me, I cannot tell someone to actually quit their job. At the, ah, no, 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 quit that job and go become that. F no, I'll not tell you that, but I'll tell you what you feel in your heart. For me, I quit my job because that's the push that I felt in my heart. I was not happy at all doing what I was doing. But right now, I'm so, so happy creating content and because because this is what i love yeah and uh, yes and so if you're out there just listen to your heart what do you really want once you discover what you want go for it the world is outside there waiting for you to actually do what you are created for yes and thank you so much for watching this video remember to subscribe down below more content on art and everything will be coming up and thank you for believing in us thank you for believing in me actually let me speak about myself thank you for believing in me and uh, yeah more content will now come up because this is what I love doing. And thank you so much. See you in the next video. Remember on life will be posted on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. See you in the next video. Oh, yes. And so another thing I almost forgot. Actually, in this during this period, there are people who came through for me a lot. People like Faye, Faith Muirori. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to me a lot. And uh, people also like Fred, Thompson. Grace, with you, Grace Royro, you talked to me a lot when I was feeling down because like depression was almost hitting me. But having such people talking to me that actually brought me back to life and it made me believe in myself. And so thank you. I just had to say thank you to those people. I know they are watching. Yeah. And so thank you. You touched us all. Mm. Back to my flute. <laughs> ah, I love this flute. This flute.